Hey guys and gals, never here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's something about Twitter, the Gaming Drag. Today I'm coming back at another Let's Play episode of Morinatsu Revisited Homecoming Toriko's Path. Man, that's a lot of, uh, that's a long name. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you are up and let's go. All right. <clears throat> We've been waiting for almost an hour. Well, that's kind of your fault, isn't it? I said between 7 and 8, didn't I? Well, if you want to get technical about it, we're all here now, so I'm going home. What? What? Wait! Tora begins stomping off towards the village. Konosuke runs after him, desperately trying to get him to stop. I'm sorry I made you wait, Torahiko. Not good enough. Tora, please! I said I'm sorry. Tora turns around and looks Konosuke in the eye. What about Shuna Hiroyuki, huh? They've been here as long as I have. Are you sorry about that, too? Ah! Konosuke takes the hint and runs back to it, runs back to us, sitting on the swing set. I'm sorry, guys. I swear this is going to be worth it. The only thing Shun and I do is stare down at the begging Tanuki. Please! I accept your apology. I guess I do, too. Konosuke looks so relieved to hear that. You need to work on your tardiness, dude. All right, then. What is it you plan for tonight? Shun's breaking curfew for this. I told you my curfew is ten now. Didn't you say something about a test of courage, Konosuke? Uh, a test of what? That's right. It's an old high school tradition. He then pulls out a flashlight from his pocket. With the click of a switch, he turns it on and holds it beneath his face. Are you ladies ready to get scared? I... I... I uh, since I managed to get three of you, I decided to turn this into a competition. A competition? You're on, Konosuke. Konosuke is visibly hyped up as he begins to explain the rules. Tonight, we're going to explore the school and take pictures of its seven wonders. Oh, the seven wonders. I remember that from when I used to go here. First, we split into teams of two. I have to spare a camera with me for the other team. For every one of the seven wonders you find, you get three points. Try not to break the camera, though. It's pretty expensive. I chuckle to myself as I think about using my cell phone and its built-in digital camera. <laughs> I consider pulling it out and using it instead, but I decided, I decided to play by Konosuke's rules. We'll meet back here in an hour. When I get the photos printed, the highest scoring team wins. Wait a second. Huh? D did I forget something? Oh, on the pictures. What if something weird shows up in one? I'm counting on that. <laughs> Second y'all, water time. Oh, that's good coffee. All right. Whoever manages, whoever manages to catch a ghost on camera gets ten points. Konosuke wants to run into scary things tonight. Both Shun and Tora seem to be at a loss for words. So, are you telling me this test of courage thing is just an excuse for you to take ghost pictures? Ah. Um, n no? He says that in a meek voice, which only makes Tora more agitated. I don't want anything to do with this crap. You hear me, Konosuke? Lighten up, Tora. You know ghosts aren't real, right? N not you too, Yuki. Torahiko always had an irrational fear of the supernatural. I remember when we were kids, he was afraid of the shrine because he swore he saw the shrine god one time. Honestly, this actually sounds like fun. I smile at Konosuke. I'm down for it. Besides, won't it be kind of nostalgic wandering around this place again? Thanks for being so open-minded, hero. This is going to be great. Hmm. <laughs> Tora still doesn't look convinced, but Shun, uh, Shun, Shun seems interested now. What's wrong, Tora? Afraid of a little competition? Gah! But, but, I may be afraid of ghosts, but I'm determined to win this. Bring it on, Konosuke. Duh! Even little old Shun is putting Tora to shame. What a scaredy cat. I can't let Shun of all people make me look bad. Tora whispers to himself as he shakes his head. Well, looks like there's no point in resisting. I'm in too. Awesome. Let's figure out how we're going to split the teams. Hmm. Who should I team up with? Tora, obviously. Tora and I used to team up in games like this all the time when we were kids. 
It'll just be like old times. I want to partner up with Torahiko. Oh? Okay, then. Thanks, Yuki. Yee, she's acting like I just saved his skin or something. Your days are numbered, Tora. Let's do this, Konosuke. Ah! Shun's kind of scary when he's in a competitive mood. I pull Tora aside and tell him my plan. Since I'm familiar with the Seven Wonders story, I decide we're going to visit the gym, then the Eastern Stairway, and finally the music room. Hey, wait a second. What? What did I forget now? What did I forget now? There's still one thing I don't understand. If nobody has ever figured out what the Seventh Wonder is, how are we supposed to find it? We don't even know what we're looking for. Um... That's the thing, though, isn't it? I answer Shun instead of Konosuke. This is always my favorite part of the mystery. They say that when you find out what the Seventh Wonder is, something strange will happen. The popular theory is that even if you find the Wonder, you'll forget what it is when you leave. I lower my voice to make the next part sound a little eerie. Almost as if it has the power to steal your memories without you ever finding out. I feel lukewarm. Nighttime summer breeze gently caresses my cheek. There you go. Coffee time. Hmm. So this should be rather interesting. Okay. The mood is perfect tonight. I might be getting into this a little too much. Shun stares at me with an eyebrow raised. I scratch behind my ear. Uh, the point is, you should be excited to see the Seventh Wonder. God, do I have to spell it out or something? Look, it's just a ghost story. We're looking for something we, did, we didn't know we, we didn't know we forgot. I scratch under my chin. Even the other wonders have little stories tied to them. Bansha! Come on, guys, it'll, it's all in good fun. Yeah, get fired up. Oh, I get it now. You realize now you've sealed your fate, don't you? Victory's as good as ours. Come on, Konosuke. Not so fast, Pipsqueak. What makes you so sure you're gonna win, huh? I've got Yuki on my side. We're gonna kick your butt. <coughs> <coughs> oh, goodness. Mm, so excited I sneezed twice. Good luck with that. I already know what the seventh wonder is. What? Curry! That's cheating, Konosuke! I want to beat them fair and square! I've investigated it thoroughly. Uh, it wasn't easy to find, but I have zero doubts. <laughs> Sh shut up, Curry! You're just trying to psych us out, aren't you? Don't take my detective work so lightly. Why do you think I was late tonight, huh? Oh, so now he admits he was late. Brrr. Relax, Tori. It's just a bluff. Huh? I'm pretty sure it is, too. I do that all the time at tournaments. B but we've got our team, so let's get a move on. We don't have all night. Bansha! I strike a heroic pose. <laughs> uh-huh. Good luck, you two. See you back here when we win. Shun bolts for the front door of the school. Whoa! See you guys in an hour. Kunisuke runs after him, the camera around his neck swinging side to side as his belly jiggles with each step. I look at Torhiko. He doesn't seem that into this. Hey, don't worry. I give him a thumbs up. I've got a plan, remember? Yeah. I gently grab him by the arm and start leading him to the school's entryway. Headless Basketball Player the story goes that one night a teacher working night duty came to investigate noises in the gym. Thank you, Neil. Coffee time. When he looked in, he saw a student practicing free throws. He sighed in relief at first, but then he was as he was closing the door, it occurred to him that there shouldn't be any students around at that hour. He carefully walked into the gym and called out to the student. As the student turned around, the teacher saw that they had no head. In his place was a slowly rotating basketball. The teacher screamed out in terror when he looked down at the ball the student was practicing with and saw it was their head. He said it looked at him with a broad smile and laughed. He stumbled over as he ran for the door. When he looked back, the student was gone. Nobody believed the teacher when he told the tale. It's been passed down as a legend ever since. I lead the way through the hall out, of side, out the side door of the gym. Hmm. I glance inside the gym. Looks like everything's clear. So there's no ghosts in there. I feel Tora's big hands wrap around my arm. 
Torahiko, let's go. Let me go. You're grabbing my arm too tight. I'm losing circulation. I have to violently shake my hand free from his clawed clutches. S Sorry. Are we uh, done yet? Gosh, what a scaredy cat. I roll my eyes at him and smile. Just let me take a picture, all right? <sniffs> the moment I let the camera rest around my neck, Torahiko's hands find their way around my arm again. Ow! Dude, what's up with you tonight? Oh, you know. The stuff. I stare at him. Nah, you're not getting off that easy. You're scared, aren't you? Gah! I'm not scared. You are. Heh. <laughs> yep, totally shaking in my boots. That's why I'm gripping your arm so tight it's gonna fall off. He takes the hint and lets go, though the expression he's making implies he'd rather not. No, I don't like this. Something about it doesn't feel right. <laughs> I take a few steps away, then face him with my hands on my hips. Doesn't that mean you're just scared? Told you, I'm not scared. I feel like I'm intruding in something I shouldn't be, that's all. Uh-huh, sure. Ah, but why would you believe me? We don't have time to be scared, man. Do you want to beat Konosuke or not? I guess you've got a point. That seemed to do the trick. If there's one thing I know Tora hates, it's having Konosuke gloat about something to his face. Spooky music. The Staircase of Doom. I've heard of this one, actually. I always thought the name was cheesy, but the legend behind it is no joke. They say these stairs are connected to a mysterious otherworldly plane. Several students have allegedly disappeared over the years climbing them. Witnesses say they weren't paying attention until they realized their friend never made it to the second floor with them. There's a mirror that hangs overlooking the stairway. Technically, it was put there to allow the teachers to make sure students weren't goofing off on the stairs, but... Sometimes evil things can become attached to the most innocuous of objects. The reports vary. Some claim to have walked through the mirror and saw the underworld. Others have encountered hideous versions of themselves leaping out to chase them. It's a good thing very few classes were held in this near-forgotten section of the school. I lead the, I lead the way to the next destination, the Eastern Staircase. So... Ah! G -g 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 ghost Calm down, Tora. I have to cover my ears as he screams. It was just a crow inside. Crow outside. <laughs> I knew that. I roll my eyes in annoyance. Uh-oh. That sounded like something falling down a staircase. Gah! <laughs> Damn it! Torahiko's been cowering behind me the whole way. I forget how bad he is with scary things. Well, we're here. Y yeah. You ready to climb up? I guess so. You know, I remember not being able to watch horror movies with him. He'd always chicken out and hide behind the couch. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I truth be told, the fact he's so scared right now is kind of putting me on the edge. Kind of putting me, kind of putting me on edge. That and the numbing pain coming from my arm again. Tora, let me go! Jeez. S sorry, sorry. We made it to the top, so stop worrying. I look back down the stairs and aim the camera carefully. I have to take a picture now. Without realizing it, I managed to get the old mirror overlooking the stairway in the shot. I could have sworn. No. It was just a trick of the light. That should do it. I turn back to Torahiko. Ugh! What? Uh, the... the 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 mirror. Yeah, I didn't mean to angle the flash like that. Sorry. There's something else in the mirror. <laughs> I'm going to pause it right there, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Before I go, I'm going to give a quick shout out to our lovely bronze tier patrons. Thank y'all for all you do for the channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you to our silver tier patron, Cade Silverman. Thank you going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you to our gold tier patron, Cherezum Guy. You're awesome. We love you. Thank you for subbing to Ultimate Tier. Anyway, if y'all want to get your names in the credits, get access to all of our not safe for work contents as little as $5. Alrighty, I love you all, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye.